So this is a rather challenging video for me to publish because I tied myself to this brand in 2021 and 2022 for about 10 months. Now, for those of you who are unaware for a bit of context, in September 2021, I published a video titled All New Tier 1 Chinese Carbon Bike for Half the Price. And it was relating to this frame set right here, the Seeker Exceed RDC. And I published that video off the back of a lot of research and several conversations I'd had with a company called Cycling 100, a new e-commerce based company out of China aiming to bring the cream of the Chinese crop to the Western world. This was following their offer to sponsor some videos on this channel where I would be promoting some of their products and also subsequently their company. And within their offer, they also provided me with the Seeker Exceed frame set and the Vortex No Compromise wheel so I could build up a complete bike and review it. Subsequent to that, I have created five videos on this project totaling just over 350,000 views. Thus, I feel very much part of their launch to market and a responsibility to all those channel supporters and subscribers out there. Now around mid 2022, I started to get some messages from people out there that had watched my Seeker content and gone and invested in the frame set themselves. Now around that time, you couldn't get them straight away you had to pay a deposit and then you had to wait a period of time and then your frame would arrive but given the issues with the global supply chain at the time things were getting delayed a lot of frustrated customers a lot of communication going to cycling 100 and the communication i was getting from these channel supporters that had purchased a seeker was it was a very arduous process to get communication back or to get their deposit back but they all appeared to resolve their issue at some point in time, albeit probably longer than it should have been. I did express these concerns to Cycling 100 during the back end of last year, and they always did come back to me with a reason as to why. Fast forward to the last few months, and I still continue to get this tone of communication sent to me on a weekly or fortnightly basis, but now I've had first-hand experience with this poor communication, lack of responding, not getting deposits back myself. A friend of mine that lives locally, he decided he wanted to buy a Seeker. He put an $800 deposit on this frame set right here. After putting the deposit down, it was still unclear to him when his frame was gonna arrive and what the process was. So he sent Cycling 100 an email asking some questions. He didn't get anything back. He started to get nervous, so he decided to buy the frame from somebody else and to request his money back in line with Cycling 100's 30 day refund policy on their website. After many, many attempts to get a response from Cycling 100 using different emails that appear on their website and their web form, he decided to test the waters. He used his wife's email and name and asked Cycling 100 through the same channel that he'd been trying to use to get his money back, asked a sales related question using an alias and within a short period of time, he got a response. So that alleged behavior, although I've seen the communications firsthand, in my opinion, is unacceptable. My friend did get his money back eventually, eight to 10 weeks after the fact, but sadly, I had to intervene. Now Cycling 100 are aware that this video is going live today and they have assured me that they have improved their customer support infrastructure but from what i have seen over the past or heard over the past six months and from what i've now seen firsthand in recent times i simply cannot recommend cycling 100 their communication and their refunds appear to be problematic but to finish on a more positive note what i can say is the product the seeker exceed rdc i still highly recommend it i think it's a great road bike and now the Vortex No Compromise wheels have resolved that hub issue. I also think that set of wheels is a high quality wheel set. So if you wanted to purchase those products, obviously you can still do it through Cycling 100, but just don't expect high quality levels of communication. And also if you're after a refund, you're probably gonna find that process problematic. So if it was me, I would seek, pardon the pun, to look for these products on alternative channels.